Hey everybody, how you doing? Today I want to talk about Navy life while you are deployed on an aircraft carrier. Or I guess any type of ship, destroyer, cruiser, the advice would work for those also. I don't know about submarines. I've I do not plan on ever going on a submarine. But uh yeah, let's start off with the most important things that you need to bring. So First, you need to bring at least, at least 14 pairs of shirts, 14 pairs of underwear, 14 pairs of socks. Like, you know, your undershirts, either blue, white, whatever you're wearing to your uniform. Um, and then 14 pairs of socks, 14 pairs of underwear. And that's because the laundry is going to go, I almost guarantee the laundry is going to break down or they're going to restrict the water usage on the ship. And you're not going to be able to do your laundry. And you're going to have to wear, you know, your underwear inside out. Wear it for a couple of days in a row or wash it in the sink. Or something like that, which has happened a couple of times. Not to me, but I've seen it happen. Um, so, yeah, bring a lot of uniform items. Now, civilian clothes, you do not need to bring that much of. I say a pair of jeans, slacks, a pair of shorts, and then a dress shirt, and then a couple of t-shirts. Maybe two, three t-shirts, and a sweater. Um, so yeah, you don't need to bring a whole wardrobe. Just a couple, you know, some building clothes so you don't take up that much space in your rack. Uh, also, for your hygiene, hygiene items, bring a couple, you know, items of each of, like, your favorite. So, you know, bring, like, two of your favorite uh, shampoo bottles you know, a couple uh, bottles of body wash, depending on how long your deployment is. Uh, there's, there's a ship store that sells, you know, um, they sell hygiene products, food, stuff like that, but they're not going to have, more than likely, they won't have, like, the ones that you like. They're just going to have uh, generic stuff. So bring at least two to three um items each for uh, hygiene uh if you're a guy either you can have an electric razor that's cool or bring it make sure you bring a lot of razor blades um i don't grow facial hair you know hardly any so luckily for me i like to shave like once every like five days but i'm a very rare case so but bring a lot of razor blades is what I've heard. Um, if you smoke or dip, bring a lot of cartons of cigarettes or a lot of uh, cans. I don't do either, but again, the stores will run out. And people are going crazy uh, for cigarettes and stuff like that. So bring a lot of those. Also, shower shoes. Bring at least uh, what I did. Get your shower shoe and get another one and glue it to the bottom. So you have more clearance, you know, so you don't step on anything you didn't want to in the showers. Um, so yeah, that pretty much covers uh, the important, you know, items that you want to bring. Also, make sure you bring, you know, something for your entertainment, like uh, an iPad or a tablet, laptop, books. Nothing, don't bring a lot of, you know, a bunch of stuff that's going to take up a bunch of space. Or maybe like one, you know, your iPad or your laptop or a Kindle, books like that, or books. So you don't want to bring too many electronics. Uh, just keep it, you know, keep it simple. Also, yeah, workout clothes. Uh, bring, I'd say at least four shorts, you know, workout shorts and four, four or five workout shirts. Um, and hangers to hang your clothes after you work out so they can dry so bring you know, one or two hangers so you can let your workout clothes dry just don't throw it right away in your laundry bag or else it's going to stink up the birthing people are going to get pissed at you oh yeah and about the birthing oh, where you sleep I recommend getting a sleeping bag and bringing that 
Um, you don't have to worry about making your act in the morning. Just roll up your sleeping bag at the foot of your bed. Boom, good to go. Or you can bring your own sheets. Uh, the ones that they provide you, uh, I mean, it's not terrible, but um, if you want to use the wool Navy issue blanket, that's you know, it's on you. But I prefer you know either your own sheets or a sleeping bag. Uh, that's about it for you know clothes and necessities. Now moving on, real quick to the food. Uh, the food's not bad. Um, just make sure you eat healthy because there's a lot of surprisingly you can't eat unhealthy and gain weight. Um, they have a lot of desserts that they put out. You know, uh, freaking they they would always have peach cobbler and cookies and pie. So just make sure you eat healthy, drink a lot of water, maybe bring a water bottle so you can, you know, stay away from the coffee because uh, a lot of people get addicted to, you know, caffeine. I did in this last deployment, um, but I cut that, cut that out. No, I just, you know, I got my water, water bottle, so bring a water bottle so you don't get addicted to that caffeine crap. Mm. Now about working out, you're if you want to try to work out, you know, and get in shape, it's gonna be hard because you're gonna work a lot of hours, at least twelve, for sure. I was working thirteen, about thirteen hours every day, and I did not have the energy to want to work out. I just wanted to go back to my rack, read a book, go to sleep, wake up, do it all again the next day. So. Try to, you know, stay motivated, maybe bring a pre-workout or something. Uh, I plan on, you know, being motivated this next deployment I'm about to go on. So I can get back in shape. Been kind of lazy lately. Um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Now, if you work on the flight deck, um, you're going to be either part of a squadron. You'll be working on the flight deck. Or you'll be... Uh, like the catapult people, the ABEs, the ABHs are the ones that direct the uh, jets, the yellow shirts, and then you have the fuelies. Um, so yeah, just look up, uh, you can Google flight tech jerseys or flight tech jobs, and I'll tell you all the people that will be working on the flight deck. Everybody else will be working below decks. You will, they'll probably hardly ever see the sun. Uh, that would suck. Um, but yeah. Deployment on a carrier is... I mean, it's bad for me. It's bad like the first week, week and a half. Once you get out there, you're like, oh, great. I got, you know, 30, 40 more days to go. But after that first week, the next couple weeks go by in like a, like a blur. Like you're zoned out just day after day after day you don't really I forget what day it is the only day I know when it's Friday is when we have you know pizza Friday or taco Tuesday that's how I keep track of the days but you'll zone out and the days will go by really quick and then before you know it you'll have a port call everybody all excited you go to port and then when you go back out to sea again it's gonna suck for the first week just like before but uh, deployment on a carrier is definitely, you know, it's a good experience. It'll teach you a lot of uh, a good work ethic, and you'll be able to deal with all the a lot more bullshit. Like your tolerance for bullshit will be very, very high. So definitely a good uh, life lesson if you stay in or get out. It's gonna help you a lot, and you'll. You get a lot of quals, learn a lot about your job, because you'll be working 13 hours a day. So, yep, that's all I got about life on a carrier. If you guys want more, you know, general or specific things about life on a carrier, just uh, leave some comments below, and maybe I can make a, a video about, you know, more specific things in the future. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Have a good day.